What's up everyone, Coach Chris here from Conquer Athlete, and today I'm going to be talking about a tip around legless rope climbs. It's a movement you're going to see in this week's upcoming workout, so I figured it was a good place to uh, drop a couple ideas on how to make the movement a bit more efficient. Uh, now the first, and, and something that you're going to see uh, Conquer Athlete Tony do in a moment, is he's going to jump high. Uh, you want to limit the amount of time that you have to spend on the rope. So not only do you want to just jump high, but you want to make sure that you are moving fast up the rope. That goes without saying no one's intentionally trying to move slow, but the, the more you're holding on to that rope and pulling, the, uh, the more tired you're going to get. So that's the first tip. But um, I think what's going to help most folks in, again, something that Tony does really well as he jumps up on this rope, and I'm going to let the video play, is that as he's going up the rope, you see him driving his hip up on the same side that is reaching. The leg, of course, is gonna come along too, but what you need to think about is that as he's reaching now with his right arm, his right hip is driving up with him. That's gonna help give him a bit more momentum to help carry him up the rope, and it takes away the need for him to use his arms to pull himself up the rope as much. So I'm gonna let this play out, and you see, and what I have is a few different um, reps of him on his legless rope climb. This was a lot of legless rope climb, so you'll see him get a little bit more tired, but you'll see how important it is that he is using that hip as he's reaching to help get himself up the rope. So again, you want to think as that right arm reaches, the right hip is driving up uh, to help aid and give a bit more momentum to get him up that rope a little bit more smoothly and again to spare him a little bit overall in terms of how much work he's using uh, with his arms. So it's a quick tip. It's something that it takes a minute to work on. It's definitely a very uh, uh, challenging skill for some who's never really had to think about it as they've traversed the rope, uh, but something that can pay off uh, massively um, for those who haven't done it before. Uh, so there's my tip. Again, you're going to be seeing these in this week's upcoming workout. Now, if you have any questions around this movement or, or anything program design related, reach out to one of us coaches at Conquer Athlete. Otherwise, good luck with your training.